Hello and welcome to episode 5 of the Smash Ultimate Mod Workshop. This episode will be covering effects and backgrounds. Here I've got the script for Roy's jab. Except what you may notice is that there's no hitboxes. That's because this is the effect script that I got from the effect folder of WooBoy's script to dump. As you can see here, effect attack 11 it says. There is quite a bit that you can actually edit with effects, so I'll just be covering a few smaller things. On frame 3, a sword trail is defined, and it's turned off on frame 8. Now, you see how the sword trail has Roy in it? That means that it's a Roy's specific sword trail that can only be used by him. The only two sword trails that any character in the game can use are the ones for Death Scythe and Killing Edge. You can also make a sword trail yourself, but I won't be covering that. I'm just gonna replace Roy's trail with the Death Scythe one. I'm also gonna declare an effect on frame 1. It'll be the sis underscore bomb underscore a effect. It's just a normal explosion that the game uses somewhat frequently. And lastly, I'm gonna grab the script for Roy's Nair and put Roy's Final Smash background on it. The way to declare backgrounds is pretty similar to the way we declare normal effects. Here's Roy's Nair script, and... There's his final smash background. You need to use effect module, rec screen, and then in here, put the name of the background that you want. But now when I try to build the plugin, I get a bunch of errors. You'll see it's highlighting a bunch of stuff, making stuff blue, expected this, found that. I'll explain all of it. So what it's saying in this section is that you put in an integer, as in just a full 0, 1, 2, 3, when it should have a point on it, like 0, 0, 0.0, 1, 0. So if we scroll to this part in the script, we need point zeros after all of these. It's also mad at this part right here, which should also have point zeros. And looking at it, there's just one more thing that it's mad at. Uh, this number and this number. It wants to use 64s and it finds floating point numbers. The easiest way I've found to fix this is just say 0.0, .0 as u64. What this is doing is putting the number as the type that it wants, the u64. You can't do this in every single scenario, but you can do it for most. And just like that, the mod builds. And now that we're in the game, when I do jab, we get an explosion on the first frame, and we also get this nice sword trail. And then also, when we do Nair, we get the background from Roy's Final Smash. Awesome! As usual, the code that I use will be available in the description under item 1. And I hope this helped! Happy modding!